So for the hinge dominant Bulgarian split squat, what we're going to do is we're going to be trying to lengthen back into the glute a little bit more than we would on a more upright split squat. So we're going to go whatever distance out works best for you, but usually that's about, you know, one foot length, two foot lengths, two and a half or so. So right here, then you're going to pop that back foot back up onto that pad. So from here, you can kind of adjust to what feels good. You're trying to keep your weight very much in the front half of your foot. So heel is down, but you don't want to be rocked back where you can lift your toes up. Ball of the foot is where the pressure is going here. So what you're doing is you're turning. So you're somewhat facing that leg and then you're initiating the movement by pushing your hip back and you're continuing to drive that hip back for the bench the whole time as low as you can go. And then you're pushing through the ball of your foot to stand back up. So what we want to avoid is staying like super upright as we go down and back. That's going to be more quad focus on this leg. We want it to be glute focus. So you start by driving that hip back, you're slightly leaned forward, and then you sink down and back and then drive yourself back up. So for weights here or here, whatever feels good, but right now weights at your sides, hip goes back, you sink down and back, drive yourself back up. 